Where's that office boy? Well, send him up here with my mail. I don't care for excuses. I want him up here on time after this. I... Straighten those up. City editor's desk. This is Al Spumoni. If you print that story about me trying to bribe the district attorney, I'll come over and break your neck. Well, you can break my neck if you think you're big enough, but I'm running this newspaper and it'll print what I like. Get me Brian. Two, two, two. Oh. Hello, Ma. Oh, she does? Well, put her on. Hello, Carice, baby. Have you been a nice girl? Well, tell Papa you love him. Papa, I love you. Papa, I love you. And Papa loves you, too. And you, you just be a nice little girl. And when Papa comes home, he'll bring... When Papa comes up, he'll... Look at that desk. I ought to throw you out in your ear. Clean that mess up. Hello. Oh, hello, boss. What? Yeah? Yeah? Ted Chrisman's wife getting a divorce. Well, I'll take care of it right away. Excuse me. Locate Johnson or Smith or any of the other reporters. Quick. They're all out on assignments right now, Mr. Pago. All out on assignments? Well, locate someone. I've got to have a reporter. I'm trying to locate a reporter, boss. Hey, let me do it. You promised me 10 years ago that if you'd give me Shut a... Shut up, you idiot! Uh, no, not you, boss. <laughs> no, no, I was talking to another idiot in here. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, yes, sir, I'll take care of it right away. What about that reporter? There won't be anyone back for three hours, Mr. Pablo. For three hours? I've got to have one right now. Oh, what a newspaper office. Oh. Oh, honest, Mr. Pablo, I'd make a good reporter. I got a natural nose for news. That train leaves in 30 minutes. I've got to get this story covered. Well, I suppose I'll have to take a chance on you. Oh, you'll never regret it. And I'll make you proud of me, too. Okay. Listen, Ted Chrisman's wife's going to Reno to get a divorce. It's a big story. I want you to follow her no matter where she goes. Even to Reno? Even to Reno. And cover that story thoroughly. When you go out, give this to the cashier and get expense money. Is it all right if I spend 15 cents for an ice cream soda? Will you get started? Yeah, I'll go. Come here, Miss Fit. You better go down to the files and dig up a picture of Merry Christmas so you'll recognize her. If I can't find one, a Merry Christmas will Santa Claus do? No, no. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Ouch! Will you get out of here? Get going! Look, I'll send you a postal card from all the different cities I visit. My name is Al Spumoni. I'm busy now. Don't bother me. All right. I'll wait. Look, I've got her picture. Now do I... Oh, oh hello, Ma. Oh, oh, you brought Clarice. Gee, I'd have been awful lonesome without her. It, and it's marvelous. I'm now a reporter. Oh, Elmer, I'm so proud of you. Mary, don't you 
don't you think that you should reconsider this thing? Now, please, I know what I'm doing. What would I do with my ticket? I'm sure I don't know. Well, look for it. Hurry. I can't be parked here. Goodbye, Ma. Look for it. Oh, I got a hurry. Got it either. I thought you... You must have mislaid it. You must have put it in the seat. Haven't you got it? Train oh, too. Hurry, will you please? Hurry, dear. Please hurry. Did you find your ticket? Oh, my ticket. My ticket. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. oh my ticket. I found it. Oh, good. Oh, goodbye, Auntie dear. Goodbye, darling. Say, we'll have to hurry. Oh, yeah. Ted Chrisman. Listen to this note that Mary left me. Dear Ted, I only found out today that you're a racketeer, not a society man as you pretended. I'm on my way to Reno to divorce you. You're broken-hearted Mary. I'd like to find out the mug that told her. Now listen, Tony. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to get me a reservation on a plane. I'm going to catch up with that train and I'm going to talk some sense into her.
you. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just trying to get my shoe. Oh, the newlywed. Well, I guess I can forgive you. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. And I do mean good night. Remember you? Merry Christmas. And, and a Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do? Wreck this train? I'm trying to get in my berth. Well, why don't you try getting in without chinning yourself on the bell cord? Give me a hand. Oh, all right. Put you in the baggage car? You have to bite my foot. Smack you down. Hey, what's all the excitement? Just newlyweds. <laughs> Sounds to me like he's beating her. My wife. My husband. My goodness. Sorry, mister, but a man was chasing me, and you're the guy. Hey, come back here, you wife's dinner. Come here, you coward. You can't do that in this kind of a train. Quick, hide. He's not 
notorious gangster. He'll kill you. Hide, hide, hide. Hey! Up there. Get out of my way! Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Don't report it to the company. Everything's all right. Keep, keep quiet now. Where is that wife dealer? Where is he? Who's up there? Nobody. His pet parrot. Huh? Huh? What do you What do you Well, it wants a cracker. Huh? Huh? What do you What do you Well, I want the cracker. Well. Creepers, creepers, what a night. A great story, my boy. From now on, you're a full-fledged reporter. Do you mean it? Certainly. Oh, won't Ma and Clarice be happy? Gee, I gotta go right home and tell them. Okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> 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 